Hello, coach. Good Hi. evening. Uh, Good what evening. can you say uh, about this match? Yeah, a very difficult uh, match, very difficult uh, beginning with the two penalties and then with the red card. So, of course, on this level in Champions League, um, to play 80, 80 minutes um, with 10 men and uh, to be 1 0 down is, is a difficult situation. But the reaction of the of the team was fantastic in my opinion. So I think we showed a very good attitude. We showed a lot of quality with the ball, also against the ball. We were able to to win balls, to put them under pressure, and to to, to dominate the game in my opinion. And also we were able with ten men to create clear chances to score goals. I think um, I think we were able. Um, or we showed that we believe that we can win this game. Um, but yeah, unfortunately today everything was uh, was against us. So I think we missed some some chances. Um, also before the one zero, I think we had a big chance to score the first goal with the shot against the post. And I think we could also get a penalty, or we have to get a penalty. It was a clear handball. Um, but also in these uh, decisions, I think maybe yellow red card for the number six player. So there were so many things today against us. Nevertheless, that players they always believed in themselves, they always tried to, to um, create something even uh, after the 2-0. I think it was the second um, opportunity of, of Salzburg in the match um, and it was a 2-0. Uh, even afterwards, I think they, they we tried to, to create chances and we had chances, but that's football. So if you are not scoring at one point, then of course um, you put so much effort and energy in, into the game, then at one point, of course, you need also the um, the reward by scoring goals. So I think that was what we missed today. But the performance of the players in this difficult situation and um, um, the mentality, uh, in my opinion, was top. Good evening, Mr. Schmidt. Miguel Guerrero for Sick uh, Notices. How can this loss affect, uh, and especially the red card, affects a young player like uh, Antonio Silva? I think uh, Antonio apologized after the match for the for the red card, but actually it's not necessary because he, he didn't uh, um, do it on purpose. So I think um, I think he played so many very good matches uh, today. Of course, he he made a mistake, but um, that's something what happens in football. So that's not a problem. And I think also for him it's not a problem because um, I think he has so a very good um, um, yeah, attitude, mindset. So he always look forward. He always try to to develop and he will also develop with this red card. Hello coach, Antonio Hi. Pedro Carvalho for uh, RTP. What your opinion about uh, Trubin today? Yeah, I think uh, he made a, um, a wrong decision at the beginning with the penalty. I haven't seen it in TV, but probably it was a was a penalty. And and then afterwards, I think um, yeah, it was not easy. The, the, the fans they always uh, expected that we play very quick forward, but I think he did it well by staying calm and wait for the right moment. So he showed also under this pressure, um, I think a good mentality. It's not easy for him, but I think um, yeah, he tried his best at the end. Um, I think there were not so many chances for for um, Salzburg to to show up and um, the penalty and the second goal and I think after after these moments there were not really difficult shots on goal um, but I think um, each match will will help him to to develop to get used to get used to uh, everything and also to get the feeling for Benfica so that's part of Benfica that uh, also the the fans they always expect a lot but I think um, he will be stronger after this match. Hi, coach Alexander Candeias, Sport TV. I'd like to ask you about the moment when the fans started chanting for Neres. What's your opinion on all that situation, please? Thank you. Yeah, of course they like David, so I like him also. But I think I always have to make decision for the for the team. And in my opinion, um, the ten players on the pitch they they had a very good. Um, feeling for the game. So I think Angel and Rafa, they were always dangerous. Peter Musa did it very well in the attacking. And of course, when I, when I want to bring another offensive player, I have to put one, I have to take one of these out. But they were, in my opinion, until until the 70s minute uh, in a very good shape, always creating something. So that's why um, I wait a little bit longer with the with the subs. But that's normal. The fans, they, they can do what they want.
German or English? So can I ask in German or should I ask in Ihr Kollege Gerhard Strub hat es in den letzten Wochen immer wieder als Geburtshelfer des Salzburger Wegs bezeichnet. Würden Sie dem A zustimmen und wenn ja, wie sehr ärgert Sie das heute, was Sie da damals kreiert haben? Na, mich ärgert das überhaupt nicht. Also das war ähm, eine tolle Zeit. Ähm, ich glaube, ähm, war eine besondere Zeit, weil sich sehr viel verändert hat ähm, zu dem Zeitpunkt. Und ich glaube, alle, die dabei waren, haben das sehr genossen äh, damals. Und ähm, deshalb ähm, habe ich da überhaupt keine ähm, schlechten Gedanken dran, im Gegenteil. Ähm, und ich glaube, das ist natürlich, das äh, äh, hört man natürlich gerne, aber ich das glaube, das ist ein bisschen übertrieben. Ich glaube, dass damals eben halt sehr viele Menschen eben halt sehr viel verändert haben und zwar alles verändert haben in Salzburg und eine andere Art und Weise kreiert haben, Fußball zu spielen und eben halt sehr professionell Dinge nach voranzubringen und ich glaube, was Salzburg die letzten zehn Jahre geschafft hat, ist eigentlich eine unglaubliche Erfolgsgeschichte. Also ich glaube, es gibt wenig Vereine in Europa, die in der Lage sind, eine eigene Spielphilosophie zu haben, die durchzubringen, auch in der, in der Jugend, in der ersten Mannschaft, selbst wenn sehr viele Spieler ständig wechseln, immer wieder andere Spieler zu haben, die ähnlich, ähnlich Fußball spielen, immer Trainer zu entwickeln, die auch für so Fußball spielen und letztendlich haben sie sogar eigentlich sogar zwei Vereine entwickelt, weil Leipzig wäre heute ohne Salzburg nicht da, wo sie waren. Also ich glaube, die Geschichte von Salzburg ist schon eine, eine Erfolgsgeschichte, Erfolgsstory und eine sehr besondere Geschichte und da am Anfang dabei gewesen zu sein. Ähm, ja, war sehr schön. Uh, we were talking about the fans. Um, how did you saw the, the reaction at the end of the game from the, the fans from the Fikistas? Ja, yeah, I think uh, that's what we always try to do. So on the pitch to show the, the fans good football and also a mentality that they know that we give everything on the pitch to, to win games for Benfica. And I think that's what I saw and what I felt on, um, uh, next to the pitch. And also the, the fans, they, they felt it on the stands. So I think um, they appreciated uh, the performance of the players and um, and um, yeah gave them uh, the, the applause, the deserved uh, Uh, applause in my opinion and of course that's always good because the players are very disappointed so it was a very uh, important match and to, to um, win the first match uh, in the group stage is always a big advantage now we have a difficult task um, but that's a part of it so in football in football you always have to look forward you have to accept um, situations and then you have to show character and quality and I think what I saw today how the, the players uh, played Uh, today and how they were together on the pitch in this difficult situation, um, I, of course, give me a lot of conviction that we are able to to promote the knockout stage.